normally I'm getting up about 4.30 every morning and I'd be checking my blood sugar. I would then inject myself that morning. This is what Chris Sheridan's been doing for the last 20 years. Waking up at the crack of dawn to check his type 2 diabetes and administer his insulin shot. It was hard at first, the first about, you know, five or seven years, I really didn't follow what I was supposed to because uh, I was like, you know, diabetes can't hurt me, it can't do anything. Once you have everything in control, it makes it a lot easier. Uh, it just becomes part of your daily life. Sheridan, like plenty of others with type 2 diabetes, may soon be in luck to break this day after day after day cycle. Physicians at the Scripps Whittier Diabetes Institute are studying to see if a new type of insulin shot can be just as effective as the ones those with type 2 diabetes are currently using. Picture Sheridan, who participated in the study, not having to do this once a day, but once a week. And that was something we weren't necessarily expecting because they're, they do exactly the same thing and patients were targeted to achieve the exact same goal. And yet at the end of the study, the group receiving the once weekly actually had a better outcome than the once daily group. While it's still too early to tell if this could cut costs for those using the new shot, Dr. Athena Philosomikas tells me there could be a possibility. But if you think about it, the number of pens that you need, the number of maybe syringes that you need for these kinds of injections would be less. So is there an opportunity maybe for lower costs? I think there, there could be. For Sheridan, he thinks this possible new shot can close one chapter and open a new one for current and new type 2 diabetics. Ryan Hill, ABC 10 News. The owner of a one-